I've read another super arc that was sent to me by NetGalley. And it's The Museum of Ordinary People by Mike Gale. Now, I read Mike Gale's All the Lonely People um, the end, end of last year, and I loved it. And which is why I jumped at the chance to have this one. And it's a book that really got me here. It really did. The characters are wonderful. They are such super characters. And it's a story. Jess has lost her mum suddenly. Her mum's 50, in her 50s, and she suddenly dies. And she decides to empty out the family home all on her own. She doesn't, she doesn't have any siblings. Uh, she's got a partner guy. She's got best friends. But she wants to do it on her own. She wants to have the time to go through her mum's things on her own and almost like a last encounter with mum to to sort through the things to sort through the memories without anybody fussing around saying well what should we do with this what should we do with that she wants to do it all on her own and that's something I can totally totally understand and it brought back memories for me as well and anybody who's lost anybody it so well written and you are there with Jess in the room. What she finds is that she there's so many things that she wants to hang on to because of the memories attached to them but she can't. She lives with Guy in this super modern flat, very minimalist. Everything that she possesses, all her stuff is stuffed in the back of a wardrobe because there's no room for it in Guy's flat. There's no room, it, it looks out of place, it just doesn't, it's, it's not right. So she knows that she can't take things from her mum's home as much as she wants to, but she does hang on to, 12, to a set of encyclopedias, Britannicas, that she was given as a child and she can't bear to throw those away. And of course they go home and they go stuffed in the back of the wardrobe. We move on a year and Guy has decided that it's time to sell the flat and with Jess's mum's house on the market they can put that money from Jess's mum's house to their own home. And so the encyclopedias have got to go. And her best friend tells her that there's a museum for ordinary people where you can take loved things to be kept. So she goes there and she finds this warehouse jam-packed full of stuff that people have donated because they can't bear to have it thrown out. Everything has got a little label on it as to why it's there. And the guy who owned it, he, he made it his sort of life's, um, life's work to, to build this warehouse. The new owner, a guy called Alex, he inherited this place and he doesn't have a clue as to why, one, why he inherited and two, why the owner did this. But for Jess, it created a spark. She had always wanted to be a museum create, a curator, but it was something that never happened. She, she went to university, she got the qualifications, but it never happened. But seeing this museum, and it, cre it sparked something in her and she wanted to turn it into something that people could visit. And this is what this book is about, the Museum of Ordinary Things, where people can take items that have been loved and know that it's, they are going to be safe and not discard it because they can't bear to have something thrown away. And in this museum, there's all sorts of things. There's letters, there's old violins, there's um, sort of oh, chairs, a work table, something that has got such memories to it that the person who possessed it cannot bear to have it destroyed. 
so it goes into this museum and this is what Jess wants to create a museum of ordinary people for ordinary people museums are full of things that are full of I don't know sort of gold silver fantastic paintings all that sort of stuff but the ordinary people the ordinary things they just get thrown away and Jess wants to uh, to hold onto them and it's this story and it's a wonderful story and it sets you thinking about you know people you've lost if you'd had a chance to put something of theirs in this museum of ordinary people what would you have kept what would you have put in that you know when it came to house clearance you had to throw away but you wished you hadn't an absolutely fantastic read I, I loved it and I loved all the characters in it and it really touched touched part of me as well so it comes out I've forgotten when it comes out um, I think it comes out I can't remember when it comes out it's gone out of my head I'll put it in the description box down below but look out for it as soon as it comes out you will absolutely love it so the Museum of Ordinary Things people whatever um, happy reading. Take care.